Before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's talk about the rebasing. What you're looking at here is, on the left, it's the value of what you have in the LP before the rebase. And it shows that you have 36,368 T-bill. And then on the right is after the rebase and it shows that the number of T-bill that you have went down by a little over 4,000 T-bill. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, 4,000 of the T-bill just disappeared. Well, what you don't seem to understand if that upsets you is that if you look at the value of what you have on the left here, it showed $59,624. And then you look at the value of what you'll have after the rebase, and it's the same, 59624 Well, you wonder, how can that possibly be? Because I have less, you know, 4000 less T-bill after the rebase than I had before. Well, if you look at the price of T-bill before the rebase, and then you look at the price of the T-bill after the rebase, the price per T-bill token went up. So you have less T-bill tokens, but each one is worth more. So that's why you haven't lost anything. Think of it in terms of you had five $1 bills in your wallet, and I take them out and I put a $5 bill back into your wallet. You have less pieces of paper in your wallet but you still have five dollars. That's how a rebase works. By the same token, if it's a expansion rebase, then you get excited because you go, wow, I just picked up some extra T-bill for, for nothing. Well, yes you did, but your total value of all the T-bill that you have remains the same because in the case of an expansion, the price of each T-bill you have went down so that's how rebasing works the the function of a rebase is to keep the price of each t-bill token at the target price shown here of a dollar nine plus or minus five percent so if the price of t-bill is a dollar nine plus or minus five percent it is referred to as being in equilibrium and it'll show that there's no rebase going to occur. But if it goes above $1.9 plus 5%, it'll trigger a rebase in the expansion direction, meaning you will get more T-bill. And if it goes below $1.9 plus 5%, then it will trigger a contraction rebase where the number of T-bill you have will go down, as shown here. So a rebase moving the number of T-bill that you have up or down is nothing to be concerned about because you're not losing or gaining any money through that process. All it's doing is adjusting the price of each T-bill. Well, that's a wrap for this presentation, so cue the music. So it's important to remember, whenever somebody does a swap, if they're swapping T-Fuel for T-Bill, they are putting T-Fuel into the LP, and they are taking T-Bill out of the LP. And if they are swapping T-Bill for T-Fuel, then they are putting T-Bill into the LP, and they're taking T fuel out of the LP. So, you know, the LP can get out of balance depending on the number and type of swaps that are occurring. So, uh, just keep that in mind.
If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me, and I'll see you in the next video.